Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Welcome back to Storytime with Lisa. Today I have a wonderful story for you about a princess and a prince. Let's get started. Storytime today is being recited outside the Murrieta Public Library. Once upon a time, in a galaxy far, far away, there lived a princess named Lisa. She had been searching far and wide for many years to find her prince. She kept daydreaming and telling herself, all she kept finding were frogs. Each time she thought she met a nice prince, she would quickly learn that his personality flaws give me adequate cause to send him packing on a one-way trip so his prospects take a terminal dip. And it would be time to move on and continue the search. She was dreaming of a whole new world, a dazzling place I never knew. And she knew that her prince could show that to her. She knew that together they would live together in peace and harmony and have the most adventurous life possible. She also knew that her prince would tell her, I can show you the world, shining, shimmering, splendid. Each day, the princess would listen to the chirping crickets while dreaming of her true love. But one day she found a talking cricket. The cricket told her, When you wish upon a star, anything your heart desires will come to you. She decided to wish upon the very next star she saw, and of course she wished that her prince would find her. The princess still didn't find her prince. Soon, the princess found a wishing well. The princess learned that if you The princess made a wish into the wishing well and she sang. I'm wishing, I'm wishing for the one I love. But the princess still didn't find her prince. She would live every day. Little did she know that her true love was very near and that she would find her prince just around the river bend, just around the river bend. Meanwhile, there was a handsome prince named Bill. He was working hard to grow a business and to become the most successful prince in the land. Every day he would dream. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. You run for a long way to go, young master, if you think. No one's saying do this. Now when I say he worked hard every day, but when he wasn't working, he was looking for his true love to build a home and a future with. He didn't want to settle for anyone in the land. He wanted to find someone special who he could live happily ever after with. All of his friends would tell him, There's no man in town as admired as you. You're everyone's favorite guy. But this prince was looking for a girl worth fighting for. The prince searched high and low, and still didn't find his princess. The prince felt that... I've been searching my whole life to find my own place. And maybe it's the party talking, or the chocolate fondue. Although he was admired by all the girls in the kingdom, and... He still wasn't satisfied. The prince continued to search, but he also knew that life was short. So he had to enjoy every minute, and he always had to have a redhead on my left arm, a brunette on my right, a blonde or two to hold the candles, and that seemed just about right. One day, the prince and the princess finally met. Right away, the princess knew. So this is love. Mm -hmm. So this. 
This is love. She knew that this was different from anything she had ever experienced before. The prince told her, I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. She was so happy to hear this from the prince, and she told him, Have a dream I hope will come true. That you'll grow old with me. I'll grow old with you. Everyone else in the kingdom watched in amazement. The prince and the princess got along so well. It was clear that they were meant to be together forever. Everything was perfect. All of the other available princes and princesses in town were sad because they realized that they had become poor unfortunate souls in pain, in need. They had missed their opportunity with the prince and the princess. The princess was so thankful that she had finally met her prince, and she thanked him for loving her. The prince told the princess, I love you. I love you. And they lived happily ever after. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching Storytime with Lisa. Bye!